Good morning, class! Today, we are in the second week of our third quarter lesson in health. For today's objective, let's discuss the ways to keep water and air clean and safe. Let's have a review regarding diseases and disorders caused by poor environmental sanitation. Let's remember, poor environment can lead to poor health. Personal hygiene and environmental sanitation are important in preventing the spread of diseases and disorders caused by poor environmental sanitation. One of the common respiratory sicknesses that is an effect of poor environmental sanitation is the common cold. When you experience itching or sore throat, runny nose, sneezing, nasal congestion, watery eyes, and mucus drainage, then you have the symptoms of common cold. Another one is gastrointestinal diseases. It refers to diseases involving the gastrointestinal tract, namely the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and rectum, and the accessory organs of digestions. These diseases are caused by poor personal hygiene, poor environmental sanitation, and limited access to clean water. One of the examples of gastrointestinal disease is diarrhea. It is the opposite of constipation and sometimes called intestinal flu. It is the condition of unusual frequent and liquid bowel movement caused by viruses, bacteria, and other organisms and contaminated food. Another infectious disease is dysentery. It is passed through the ingestion of food and water that has been contaminated. The transmission is often infected individuals who handle food with unwashed hands. Another is amoebiasis. It is caused by a single-cell parasite which invades the large intestine, causing stomach pains, cramping, and bloody diarrhea. And the last one is kistosomiasis. It is a disease caused by parasitic worms. Some parasites enter the body through the skin and make their way to the intestines where they breed and cause infections. Another disease caused by poor environmental health is skin disease. When the skin comes in contact with pollutants, it results to some illnesses like eczema, scabies, and ringworms. Another is the diseases that are related to the brain and spinal cord called neurological impairment. One cause of the problem is mercury poisoning. Mercury poisoning is a type of metal poisoning and medical condition caused by exposure to mercury or its compounds. Exposure to the heavy metal mercury can seriously affect one's vision, hearing, and speech. Some of the toxic effects of mercury poisoning includes damage to the kidney, lungs, and brain. A clean environment ensures the continual existence and survival of all life on Earth. Cleaning the environment reduces pollution, prevents diseases, protects unique ecosystems, prevents the extinction of endangered species, and conserves resources such as water, land, and air. For today's lesson, let's discuss the importance of environmental sanitation. Improving the cleanliness and sanitation of the environment will improve the quality of water and air that we take in. Environmental sanitation means keeping your environment free from air, water, and even noise pollution so that the people in the community will improve their health. This will also reduce health problems and diseases. And now, let's discuss the effects of having clean air and water supply. We use water every day. At home, we use it for cooking, cleaning, showering, and flushing. Our food, clothes, mobile phones, cars, and books all use water in their production. 
we use water to build our homes, school, and roads, and to heat building and coal power plants. For us humans, water is not simply a vital need for our bodies, it is also a resource we benefit from every day. But if we cannot maintain environmental sanitation, water pollution exists. It is caused by a number of ways, like city sewage and industrial waste discharge. Soils and groundwater contain the residue of human agricultural practices and also improperly dispose of industrial wastes. Air is very important and has a big impact on our day-to-day -day lives. In fact, Recent studies shows that air pollution can increase the risk of breathing problems while we sleep. Clean air is essential to us. We should avoid doing things that can pollute air. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution kills an estimated 7 million people worldwide every year. Polluted air can be very bad for our health. Long-term exposure to air pollution has been associated with diseases of the heart and lungs, cancers, and other health problems. That's why it's important for us to monitor air pollution. Clean air and water are things that all individuals share and value. They are prerequisites for health. Poor air or water quality can be particularly detrimental to vulnerable populations such as the very young, the elderly, and those with chronic health conditions. Now we are done in discussing the importance of environmental sanitation. Let's work together in maintaining clean air and water. Let's save Mother Earth! Thank you for listening! Always remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home!